could you explain to us, as you are the director of the Musée Cernuski, specialized in Asian art for La Ville de Paris, uh, tell me what is special about Sanyu as a Chinese artist who came to live in Paris? Well, uh, Sanyu is one of, of the most important artist of this generation of Chinese artists that uh, decided to come to France in the early 20th century. So there were many youngsters in this period who decided to uh, leave China. They were encouraged actually to leave China to come here, especially uh, in France, to be trained and especially to be trained in oil painting. And then, uh, so many of Sanyu contemporaries just uh, came, were trained, and then went back to China, uh, where they have founded new academies. So that's the case of uh, Ling Feng Mian, Su Bei Hong. So uh, Sanyu is special because he only uh, decided to go back to, for a very short time in China and then he was back here uh, in Paris and he stayed in Paris for decades until he died in the 1960s. So that's maybe something special about uh, Sanyu is that because he stayed for such a long term here in Paris so he became somehow not only uh, influenced but he became part of this uh, art artistic atmosphere of the French capital in this and, period. Uh, can that explain his success in China today? Uh, can you repeat, please? Can, can that, the fact that he stay in France, can it explain the, his success in China? Well, uh, Chang Yu, uh, Sanyu had a special uh, relationship to the audience because uh, he came to Paris and very quickly in the late uh, 20s and 30s, he, fi he found his peculiar style and uh, was somehow uh, successful when he um, collaborated with uh, Henri Pierre Rocher. But uh, later, he preferred to create for himself and his friends in a small circle uh, around Montparnasse. And uh, so he was slowly, uh, he was slowly forgotten uh, by the French audience, uh, by the Chinese audience, uh, sorry. And uh, especially due to the uh, shift uh, in the politics uh, in the in the mean 20th century. And uh, so he was slowly rediscovered in the 1980s. Uh, in this time, uh, a few uh, artists, uh, art critics uh, came from Taiwan to France and they slowly reintroduced Sanyu uh, in Taiwan and uh, a few years later in mainland China. And you spoke about his very special style, for example, to represent naked women. Nu. Yes, that's something very interesting about, uh, about Sanyu because uh, most of the artists uh, in this period, uh, they just had to face uh, the nude model in order to um, master a new component of uh, the training to become a specialist of oil painting is this new field in China. So it was somehow for most of the artists they wanted to acquire these technical skills uh, for a teaching purpose. But Chang Yu made it a very personal thing. And uh, there were a few persons around him when he was creating his nudes in the Academy uh, de la Grande Chaumière. And they all recalled that uh, everybody was just stopping drawing and just 
surrounding San Yu and looking at him drawing the nudes because he was not only, he was most of the time, he was using ink, uh, ink painting and a pencil. And so he, be, he managed to uh, create a very Chinese way to render uh, the human body, the ma ma mainly female, female nudes. And uh, so this is something very important. And it was noted by uh, one of the most important critic, art critic and poet of this period, uh, the Chinese critic Su Zhemo. And uh, he, he told that uh, uh, Chang Yu's woman had uh, cosmic legs. So ah. this is a very, very nice way to say how uh, can you add a very personal way to look and render the human body? Bon, merci beaucoup. Chez, chez. Si, si. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.